We say it every week. You can't have the Georgia vote without Georgia voters. It is their decisions in November that will help decide this next election. This week's Voice of the Voter is Malita Beoso Pinto. She's a Venezuelan immigrant who turned her passion for dancing into her own business in Atlanta's Kirkwood neighborhood. We are in Calo Dance Studio. This is my dance studio, and we dedicate ourselves to flamenco dancing. I love to teach people to love themselves. I try to give my students a space that is safe. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's listen to good music. Let's just see ourselves dancing. That's it. It's about connection. Exactly. One of the things we hear so frequently from folks in the political space is that the voice of Latino voters is on the rise here in Georgia. Yeah. Do you feel that? Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're a lot of us now here. There's a lot of people here that are good people, that are hard workers, and that's what Latinos have. You know what I mean? Like, we are very hard workers. <laughs> I come here and I love this country. I love the opportunity that this country has given me. I wouldn't change it for anything. If people, sometimes people ask me, if you could live anywhere in the world where you live, I say like Atlanta, Georgia, the United States. Hola, hey! We've got a big election coming up in November. When you look ahead, what worries you the most? What has been worrying me and continues to worry me is the division, you know? Like, back in the day, we could talk about Republicans and Democrats, and you will vote for this one, and I will vote for that one, and everybody was friendly and whatever. Nowadays, if you say, I'm gonna vote for Trump, or I'm gonna vote for Kamala Harris, and then already immediately is gonna become, okay, maybe we can't be friends, maybe we can't be together. What is the single biggest issue that will govern how you vote? I have a 15-year-old. I saw what happened in this school in Georgia with the kid and the gun. Like, I swear to you, I was on my way here to teach, and I was reading the news, and I almost started crying, and I was like, wait a minute. I mean, it affected me more in a way that I didn't even really think I was going to affect me. So I started thinking, my daughter is right now in her school, and these were somebody's kids, and this was somebody's mom and dad and auntie and uncle and whatever. They had a family. I don't want to feel that that could be my kid, because just thinking about it gives me the goosebumps. I'm going like, no, 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 no. I can't have that. How is it a 14-year-old can have a gun? What, what's going on? Like, where are these guns coming from? Why is this happening? Right now, your number one issue is gun control. Yes, yes. Right now, my number one issue is gun control. If you had to pick a second most important issue, what would it be? The rights of women, because I'm being so pro-woman, and LGBTQ people. Me, for example, I, I have my 15-year-old girl. I was married twice, and now I have a partner. And she's amazing. I get to have my life, and then I start realizing myself, wait a minute. There are certain places where I cannot grab hands with my partner. And those were things that you didn't have to think about when you were married to a man. No, exactly. I didn't have to worry about it. Even in here in the United States, there are certain places or certain circles where I wouldn't be able to say that I have a partner, that I have my 15-year-old daughter, that we're a modern family, that we are happy. We always end on this. What are you most optimistic about? We're gonna make it, you know what I mean? We always have made it. We've made it through the depression in 2008 when everything was bad. We made it through COVID, like the whole world made it through COVID. Aren't we gonna make it through some elections, people? I mean, come on, we're gonna make it. And if you wanna take one of Melita's classes, you can find out how, just look for the story on our website, 11alive.com.